Hello, and in this video, we're going to look at how to use SAS to break down two way interaction effects in ANOVA with simple effects analysis. Now, if you know what an interaction effect is in ANOVA, it's basically when the combination of multiple different variables and the different combinations of the levels of those variables produce a, a unique effect. So, let's take a look at our example we're going to use for this video. Uh, I've got a SAS data set open here where we've got two categorical variables and one continuous variable. We've got message and we've got relevance and each of those uh, variables have got or each of those factors have got two levels. We've got the idea was we gave them a message and then that would alter their mood, this positive affect variable. And the message if it was happy would make them happy and if it was if it was dull they wouldn't be happy. But there, there would only there would only be only be an effect if there was if there was high relevance. So we're only expecting there to be a difference when rele relevance is high and it's happy versus dull. But those there won't be a difference between those two types of messages when relevance is low. So um, if we look back at our code here, I've just got a standard. And over where we're predicting positive affect from the effect of message, the effect of relevance, and the combination or the interaction of message and relevance. So if we if we highlight that and run it, we should get some output, and we see that. Over overall, that uh, ANOVA is significant, um, but the 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 important bits are down here. We see we have a main effect of of message, which means there is a difference between high and low, um, happy and dull messages in terms of positive have effect, regardless of the relevance. And there's a difference on happiness between high and low relevance, regardless regardless of the message. But these effects are what is called marginal, or not as important when there's a presence of a higher higher order interaction effect. And because it's because it's the interaction effect of those two effects combined combined together, it's kind of more important. Well, how do we interpret that interaction effect if it means that? the effect of one variable is somehow uh, dependent on the effect of another then a good way to look at that is a is a is a graph so um i i'm going to have some more more code here that's going to um give us a graph of those video um give us a graph of those um data what this is going to do is it's going to plot the means of the different messages um in a bar graph, but it's it's going to group them by relevance. So if, if we if we run that, we should again get some output, and indeed we do. So and um, what 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 this interaction of appears to be showing is that the there is. P people with high relevance are a, l a lot happier in the happy condition than people with in the dull condition but the the, if the difference seems to be much bigger when relevance is high which is this blue column so this disparity in the blue bars is much bigger than just just by disparity in the, in, in the red bars but how do we, how do we test if this is Statistically, the case well, we can basically do uh, uh, some some full open analysis, a bit like a postdoc test called s s simple effects analysis, where we can we can take one well, one of the variables and say at each level of the, of, the, of this variable is this any different? So in this case, we're gonna um t t compare. Compare the two conditions at each level of of 
of um, relevance. So we're going to say at uh, high relevance, is there a difference between happy and dull? And at low relevance, is there a difference between happy and dull? So we're going to compare this difference here between these two bars with this difference here and see if there's a statistically significant difference. So that's what simple effects analysis is about, but how do we do that in SAS? Well, it's it's very simple. This is a standard G GLM statement that we get in ANOVA that produce the ANOVA output, but to do that we just add another line, another statement, and we're going to say LS LS means, that means the means estimated by the model, the least squares means, and now we have to tell it what we want the means to apply to. Well, we want the means for the message times relevance interaction. And how the next the next thing you need to specify is how how are we going to split this? Well, remember I said we were, we were going to compare whether there's a difference between high and low, high, happy and dull people at high and low relevance separately. Well, if we're going to do high and low relevance separately, we need to split based on relevance. So to do to to do that, we're going to say slice equals relevance if if we if we run that should get the same output but this time we'll have an an extra test of our simple effects of yeah, we we saw the interaction was significant but if we scroll down we get no extra output which is um little annoying I must have we need to add this as an extra option so if we We run the code now. We we get we get our test of the interaction. So this is telling us that the this interaction that is significant is is reflecting the fact that there is there is a difference between ha happy and sad, but the difference only exists at high high levels of relevance. At low levels of relevance, the difference is non-significant. So that's an example of how to use simple effects analysis to interpret interaction effects, but specifically, specifically how to do it in SAS. That's one line of code. That's all you need. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.